First off, congratulations. Can, can you talk about how the, the little kicker at the end there may have changed the sprint in any way? You know, we had to leave it later. It was always going to be normal and go 250, 300 meters. They had to leave it 150 meters to go. You had know, to use a smaller gear. I knew the other sprinters had used a 12 or 11. I went in a 13, 14. That day when we get the kick, you know, and uh, normally we have two guys in the last K. We had four today. It shows how well the guys can adapt, you know. Uh, you know, it was so easy to take it on too early and get carried away, but the guys kept it under control, kept together, kept it late, and, and delivered me perfect again. So. I got a bit nervous today. I seen all the big sprinters talking in the thing, and it was worrying me a bit, but I said to the guys, like, all we have to do is do what we do best, that's stay together, stay confident, stay focused, and the guys did it, you know, and, and uh, when everything runs perfect, I think when, you have, when you're sitting there with eight guys, in front of you. Some of them aren't even lead out people, you know, they're GC riders or climbers and they give 100%, it shows the commitment we have and, uh, and you know, it would be, <laughs> be a sad loss if I didn't if I didn't finish that off with a win. So, Like I tell you the truth, if I if I didn't win today after those guys I wouldn't sleep tonight. That's how it is. It's it's one thing, okay, I come across sometimes cocky, arrogant when I win, you know, cause it's, but you know, it's a massive thing to lose. Nobody sees the self loathing sees you know, when, when I lose it's a it's it's a hard thing to accept for me and uh, and the guys the guys know that I'll do my best to finish it off and that's why they work like that. So. Mark, there was a uh, article in the L'Equipe this morning, something about the French riders uh, having a problem with something you've said to them and uh, just wanted to give you a chance. I don't know if He's you've seen it. anonymous French rider and anonymous reporter. I looked at the article, I just had to laugh, you know. Um, what can you do? I've got to take it as a compliment that they keep on criticising my riding. They're trying to make shit for something else, you know. There's no scandal this year in doping, so try and start shit with something else. I, you know, I, <laughs> I have a lot of friends who are French. I, spoke, I, I made an effort this winter to learn French so I could do interviews, you know. I'm, I'm still not confident to speak it, but when I'm, I can understand it perfect to be able to, to answer the questions. And uh, I, I wouldn't be... <laughs> I think you just have to laugh about it. Well, you know, what am I supposed to say? It's, I don't know where it's come from. I don't know why it's come about, but what can I do, you know? I think let people read it how they want to read it, and, and you can't you can't stop it, you know? If, if, what, what I'm supposed to do now, you know? I can't apologize for something I haven't said, you know? And if they want to make shit, they can make shit, but you know, have the decency to put your name of the writer who said it and the name of the, the author of the article, I think, you know? Just brush it off, you know. Thanks, mate.